If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth. I'm a medical student and an artist living in London. And since I've seen these what's in my bag videos going around since the beginning of time, I thought it would be absolutely riveting and unoriginal if I made one of my own. I'm actually quite curious to see if these contents will change at any point in the future. I'm quite excited for this video and let's get straight into it. First of all, I will start with the bag herself. Um, she is three years old now. I bought this in the beginning of medical school and honestly it feels and looks almost brand new. The bag itself is from the Mon Purse company. Um, admittedly it is quite overpriced. I think I paid £350 for this bag and it was at maybe a 30% discount at Selfridges so it was quite expensive. But because I only do have one single bag I thought the splurge would be worth it if the quality was good and that has definitely proven to be the case. I have worn this absolutely everywhere when I travel um, it's my overnight bag, it's my university bag, it's my going out bag. I just use it all day every day so I definitely already got the money's worth out of it. One thing however that I will point out that I do regret is that the salesperson offered to personalize it and um, because I get quite flustered in this situation I said yes of course and gave her my initials. So it does have my initials EF on it but I find this to be extremely extremely cringe. So when I hold the bag I always hold the initials towards my body and just have the plain thing on the other side. It just makes me feel a lot more comfortable. I just like it when things are super, super plain and simple. So this is my favorite side of the bag and the one that most people will get to see. So the first and the bulkiest item in my bag is my MacBook. Um, shout out to Oli for getting me a new one actually because I only realized when I got the M1 chip that I had basically been living as though I was inside an airplane for absolutely years. This old MacBook, which is actually actually the one in here, the loud one. I put this label on it so I can distinguish it from my other one. It's so, so loud, especially when editing videos. With my new computer, I can now rather hear the conversations of my neighbors, but things are mostly peaceful and quiet. So I keep the old one with me in hospital, for example, if I know that I am leaving my bag in risky places and would rather not have the new one stolen. The next thing in my bag is my stethoscope because of course, how would anyone know that I am a medical student otherwise. The colour is obviously black. It does actually however have um, silver details because that way it is more visible on me as I'm usually wearing black when I'm in the hospital. So it's just a simple Litman stethoscope. It unfortunately only has one bell which is quite annoying when I need to use the smaller bell side so that doesn't exist on the stethoscope it's just the single one but the cool thing about it is that we do get them engraved so this one has my full name actually on it which is very very cool. The next thing in my bag is this little purse which actually came with the bag itself and this is where I carry my various bits and bobs so inside of it this is perhaps the most interesting things in my bag firstly we have a face mask I'm not going to go into that because I don't want to cry right now the next thing in here is my very extensive carry-on makeup collection which consists of a single lipstick I only buy one lipstick at a time and then I replace them I'm currently wearing the Dior Addict um, lip tattoo which is really cool because I only need to apply it once a day and it stays for the whole day so I love that next we have eye drops mostly for when I travel so if I'm on a plane my eyes tend to get very very dry and this just always stays in my bag next I have oh I have my um, mental health first aid action plan I'm a certified mental health first aider so this helps in case I need to contact someone or forget things and kind of has an action plan of what to do it's actually very cool the next thing in here are tea bags this is because I don't drink coffee and I really really love my teas and back when we used to socialize with people I might be in situations wherein tea is not an option but hot water almost always is so if I'm over at a friend's house I might just politely ask them for some hot water if they're not a tea person and I can always fix myself my own tea. These must have been in here for months however so that's quite a sad reminder. Next we have a single pen. I do love the Muji ones so again these don't really get used. I might use them once or twice a year because I don't really need to write anymore but if I'm signing something perhaps 
I will use this. The next thing is my drawing pencil. Again, I only have one. It's the Faber Castell in 0.5. These are so, so good. I've used the single one for the last three years. It's absolutely brilliant. I just refill it and it's so, so great. And also my rubber. And these, I keep them in my bag. I don't usually need to use them, but knowing that they're in here means that I don't lose them at any point, which is very helpful. So yes, that is everything inside the pouch. The next thing is my King's lanyard. I actually got this replaced the other week. I used to have my anatomical society lanyard from when I put up a poster in a conference last year. And now I finally have my King's stage two year three lanyard and my classical hospital badge. Hello, my name is Elizabeth Phillips, which is quite cute because they have the little smiles on them. Also the card itself, which has, well, a terrible photograph of me on it and my two vaccinations for my flu jab and my COVID jab, as well as my COVID card. So this is what I'll take with me in hospital. Next, I always have a book in my bag. This is actually a habit from when I used to commute to work in the last two years. Even when I do need to commute to hospital, I just really like to look outside the window because I feel as though I miss looking at the world, but sometimes I might still flip through a book. I love these little penguin books because they're so, so tiny and light and so easy to just stuff in your bag at any point. The one I'm reading at the moment is Why I Am So Clever by Frederick Nietzsche. Oh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I think I've actually, yes, I have actually finished it. It is such a great book. I, as always, make notes inside of it. I find philosophy books are the best to read on the go. And the reason for this is that I can read even a small paragraph and then I can take half an hour just looking outside of the window for the rest of commute to just think about what I read so I don't need to be glued on the page all the time and also if I'm getting somewhere wherein I'm slightly bored I used to do this at work um, when I was in Selfridges but if I'm just standing about with nothing to do I find it quite nice to just think about the things that I've been prompted in the book that I was reading on the way there. I would definitely recommend doing this. The next thing is my wallet's purse thing. Nothing special about it. It just has a bunch of cards, um, like my bank cards and my laundry card. Nothing too special. Oh my, I actually have a fiver in here. That's so cute. So yes, that is my wallet. I've had it for absolute years. Again, it's my only wallet, but I feel as though I do want to replace it with just a card holder because I think that would be a lot more compact. This one is an old Prada wallet. And lastly, we have nutrition. I do love to have snacks and water in my bag at all times. I absolutely love, love, love this water bottle. It's a chilly one. Um, the reason for that is I love really, really cold water and this keeps it nice and cold for the longest time. The only qualm that I have with it is that even though it's quite bulky, it doesn't really fit a lot. Is this 0.5? Yes, it's 500 milliliters, but it doesn't feel like much. So I can go through a lot of these in a day. And unfortunately, only the first one will be ice cold and the rest will just be filled in from taps. So yes, I still do absolutely love it though. And of course it is black. I usually do have an apple or a mandarin in my bag, but I've eaten my last one yesterday. So I don't have one to show you right now, but they are usually in there. The last thing in here are my Apple AirPods. I just upgraded to the Pro ones recently and there's so much better with the noise cancelling. They serve the function of signalling that I do not want to be disturbed and occasionally they do provide music and various other things. Also they are engraved which I went through in this case because it serves a function in that I won't mix them up with other people hopefully. So yes that was everything inside my bag. The last thing in here is one of these felt organizers that has a lot of pockets so I slide my phone and airpods and book and cards and everything in the side. I don't know why I only got this a few months ago because it's been absolutely life-changing. 10 out of 10 would recommend. They're super cheap on Amazon and make a huge change to a bucket bag like this. So yes, that was absolutely everything inside my bag if you made it so far. As always, thank you so much for spending this time with me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Be kind to yourself and others and don't believe everything you think. Thanks. Bye.